Okay, I'm back again. This time with another unique SHTF emergency power item. This is a Solaris solar power camping lantern. Uh, what makes it unique is that it recharges completely off of solar. It does not come with any type of other adapter such as an AC adapter or a car adapter. It just charges off of this included solar panel. And the solar panel is a 2.68 watt thin film uh, flexible solar panel made by Solaris which is the same company that makes the solar modules for a lot of Brunton products. You know those expensive four, five hundred dollar Brunton solar panels. Uh, that's essentially the same technology that's used in them. And this isn't a cheap lantern. Uh, it retails for around a hundred dollars. But of course I got a very good price on eBay. Um, this is a brand new lantern and I couldn't believe the price I paid for it. I'm not going to tell you guys because you guys would be jealous but I got this for a very, very low price. Um, pretty nice too. So what also makes this unique is that it's fluorescent. Usually when you hear solar lantern, you hear LED behind that. Uh, and LEDs are nice, they're more efficient, but with most of the solar lanterns I've seen, they only put out between 20 and 60 lumens. This lantern puts out 430 lumens. So it's just as powerful as one of those big uh, Coleman family size classic fluorescent lanterns. I mean it provides quite a bit of light and after um, after I finish talking I'm going to include some clips of this uh, lantern at night with light output and then I'll give you a little demo here. But uh, it's very bright, very powerful, um, something that will work in an emergency situation you can put this in the bathroom, you can put this in your kitchen, your living room, and it will completely light that space up. It won't be something that's going to light up the corner, be dim, and you know slowly die off. This is going to be bright for up to six hours. Uh, the way it does that is it doesn't have a lead-acid battery. I know with most fluorescent lanterns, either they have a requirement for alkaline batteries to be switched out like the big D cells and that can cost you 10 bucks because usually those take four to eight batteries uh, with this no lead acid battery it has a nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery pack uh, has still a pretty long runtime 430 lumens and the advantage to the nickel metal hydride is that there is no cell degradation if you store this partially discharged or you forget to charge it for a couple of months and um, also when using it if you drain this down to a zero percent state of charge again it doesn't damage the cell with a sealed lead acid battery if you discharge that past fifty percent you have completely damaged the cell and it's irreversible you know if you take a 12 volt battery for example if you discharge that past 10.5 volts um, and you know something like a fluorescent tube doesn't have a cutoff point in it it will destroy the battery essentially you'll get less and less runtime each time you use it and you will have to replace that battery uh, more often than you would normally so this has a nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery pack it's just in the base here uh, as you can see made by Quest batteries or at least I think that's Quest I can't really see under this and um, works out pretty well same type of battery I've been using in my main flashlight and I'll run this down to empty you know I'll run this until there is literally no more light I've done it hundreds and hundreds of times and these batteries are still good this had a lead acid battery or that had a lead acid battery and I did the same I would have already replaced the battery two or three times at least so uh, Another advantage to this lantern is going to be its size. Again, I explained, you know, this is about as powerful as one of those Coleman classic family camping lanterns, which are giant. And as you can see, this is slightly larger than my hand. It's also lightweight. Uh, the whole package weighs less than two pounds, including the panel, and it works out quite well. Uh, the way the panel works, before I go, is it just has this long length of cable so that's another advantage you can uh, leave this outdoors and work indoors with it plugs into the lantern and it works that way uh, one thing I forgot to mention is 
this uh, lantern does have low voltage protection so even though it's a nickel metal high drive rechargeable battery um, and it won't be damaged it still has a cutoff point um, to protect the battery so it'll last even longer uh, this is rated for more than 500 cycles uh, you're going to get an average of about 300 cycles with a lead acid battery so uh, what I'm going to do now is untwist the CFL above and turn off the camera light and give you a mini lighting demo of course after this I'm going to have a clip of it at night but uh, just to show you guys how bright this thing is there is a quick look at it and again it is daylight outside so that's about 430 lumens uh, this will be much more impressive at night as you can see it's still pretty darn bright right now so that's just a quick look at the Solaris Solar Rechargeable Camping Lantern. Hope you guys enjoy it. Peace. Okay, so here's the nighttime lighting demo. It's actually not quite nighttime, as you can see. It is uh, still light outside. I'm in the basement right now in the washroom. And you can see it provides a pretty good amount of light. Not bad at all. And I'm going to shut it down and then compare it to... Uh, a couple other lights I have in here so let's shut it off just to show you what it looks like without light in here and the furnace will cut on right now it's gonna be loud but there's the uh, incoming lights you can see doing sort of the same view uh, to show you the light output let's turn on the uh, normal light for here that's a CFL 15 watt I hope the furnace isn't too loud. It's loud on my end. Um, but pretty bright little lantern. Again, it's not in the optimum position. Uh, you can sort of extend it up if you want to. Uh, you can hang this from something and the light spread will be much better. But as far as lighting this washroom, it does a pretty darn good job. And let me just take it behind the furnace, see how it would work as a uh, work light. So, it's behind the furnace, exhaust, see I can work on this um, in an emergency situation if I needed to get power from a generator to this, you know, I could probably feed off of this line that's coming into the furnace and uh, get power going to it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. This is just a quick view of the... Uh, Solaris Solar Camping Land. Peace.